Welcome to another interview with Olympic medalist racing here in Gdańsk in Poland during European Championships in laser and laser radio class. And with us, let me introduce to you Marit Bavmeister, the Olympic champion. How is uh, your sailing here? Tough day yesterday, but uh, I'm enjoying racing and your Polish girl is doing very well. It's an exciting day tomorrow. The people who follow you, especially on uh, social media, can see you are really hard working in uh, training. Let's hope that these are only your best, okay. because otherwise it would mean that everybody else is super weak. So, um, where do you find uh, this motivation? I think if you have a passion and you love it, it's easier to keep it going. I think anybody just do what you want to do, what you enjoy, and then uh, it doesn't ever feel like work. I just like working out. I hope to get my own gym one day. I just like what I do, so it's easy. You have put your experiences in uh, not only sailing but also fitness uh, into uh, web courses, right? Yeah, true. I did it together with my brother and another friend. We've been very lucky that we always had good trainers since I was a little kid. And I think it's very important to pass on the knowledge to the youth and they, so they can develop quicker and the level goes up and sports get more professionals. It's easier to do it online so a lot more people can access it. So hopefully it's useful, but maybe I should update it as well after this Olympics, but we'll see. How much it helped you in your career at this high level of fitness? How many medals extra you got? Like estimate, thanks to like you did everything correct with the tactics yeah. and then on top of this you added this like little bit more of strength and, and endurance. I was lucky to have my brother, he's three years older and I could see a lot of people breaking down, all back problems, the old generations, they had lots of hernias because uh, the sport is very, very challenging. So I figured it out quite early that you have to look after your body, do your stretches, do your core stability and I think if I have to give a tip to the youngsters, I think appreciate your body a bit more when you're younger because the years count and you want to stay in one piece. You are on top for so many years uh, and uh, I guess uh, by now people can probably, even though who heard it before, forget how did you start. It's funny that I stick with sailing. Our family doesn't have anything with sailing. They're sports fanatics but not sailors. But yeah, my granddad said why not go for a sail and I followed my brother and we got stuck in the sailing. So I think it's all about having fun with your friends and that's how it started for us. Just have fun and it escalated into this. So it was more about the people involved in sailing, not the sailing itself? I think so, yeah. If I remember my past, it was all about camping together, making fire and having fun and doing barbecues and sailing was just a sight. I always had lots of fun and now it's weird that I'm sort of one of the oldest because I was always one of the youngest. So it's like, maybe it's time to leave the sport. Can you share with us your plans for after Tokyo? I didn't expect it to be five years, I think nobody, but uh, we'll see. I'll do Tokyo and then see, see what's going to happen. Okay, so thank you so much for this interview. Good luck to you on your Tokyo campaign and uh, good luck for this regatta. Thank you.